The New York Jets will look to end the three-game skid as they travel to Denver to battle the Broncos on Sunday. So let's preview Sunday's Week 5 matchup with New York Post Jets beat reporter Brian Costello, who joins me now. Brian, how's it going? Good, Dexter. How are you? I'm doing well, Brian. Let's start with injury news, because heading into this week, the Jets are going to be without cornerbacks DJ Reed and Brandon Eccles. How big of a loss are these two players, and what is the plan to fill the number two corner spot on Sunday? Yeah, the loss of Reed is huge, Dexter. That's the big one. Uh, you know, obviously he's played so well for the Jets over the last two years, and they're really going to miss him. And then with him being out, not having Eccles becomes a big deal because Eccles would be a guy who could step in there. He could possibly play for Reed, or he could play in the slot for Michael Carter. You could put Michael Carter on the outside. Now they don't have either one of them, so now you're getting further down the depth chart. So I think Bryce Hall is going to have to play. I don't know how much, if he's going to play the whole time or if they're going to try to do something where they play Carter on the outside when it's an obvious running down, and then when they go to nickel, shift Carter inside and put Hall outside. They also could play with Tony Adams and do like a three-safety look and make Tony Adams a nickel. So there's some things they can do, but whatever they do, it's a loss without having DJ Reed on the field. Yeah, huge loss for them going into their defense against the Broncos this week. So we'll see what happens there. Now, before the season, Broncos head coach Sean Payton, he had some comments that I'll say weren't so nice towards Jets offensive coordinator, <laughs> former Denver head coach Nathaniel Hackett. I know the team wants to get a win because they've lost three in a row, but is this a yeah. game that you get the sense that they want to win this one for Hackett? Yeah, I think there's some added motivation, Dexter, but I I don't know how much that matters. Uh, you know, it's not like Nathaniel Hackett's going to call a better game because he's motivated to beat Sean Payton. Uh, and, you know, I think if Aaron Rodgers were here, it might be a different story because he clearly was annoyed with those comments and he, he could control things a little more. I don't think Zach Wilson can be out there saying, I'm out for revenge. Zach just has to do what he needs to do to play well. So, yeah, I Obviously, if they win this game, Dexter, there's going to be a game ball for Nathaniel Hackett. They're going to be celebrating in the locker room for him. They're going to be happy for him. Uh, but I don't think they're going into this game with that in the front of their minds. All right. So this one is not a win one for Hackett, but it will be nice <laughs> to hand him the game ball. You mentioned Zach Wilson. There's been some talk amongst the fan base that Wilson has turned the corner <laughs> after his week four performance against the Chiefs. What did you learn? from Wilson's two touchdown performance on Sunday night and what does he need to show in week five to show that he might have turned the corner? Can we go back to last week, Dex, to what we were saying last week? Had he turned the corner yeah. then or were we benching him last week? So, La like, it's La one last game. week, people were trying to bench him. That is true. Yeah, it's one game. The Chiefs game was one game, just like the Patriots game was one game. All right. So now he has to show that he sh showed some really good things in the Chiefs game, things we haven't seen from him before. He made some really nice throws, particularly the second half. That first drive of the third quarter was really impressive. But, you know, was that because the Chiefs defense gave him some of that to, to throw? I, you know, we're going to find out. Uh, he's, he's you know, stringing it together week after week after week is what makes you really, really good. It's hard to do in this league. Um, so I, I'm skeptical, Dexter, if he's turned the corner. I need to see more. Um, like I said, it was just one game, just like the Patriots game was just one game. So, uh, you know, he played a pretty good game last year, if you remember, against Buffalo at MetLife Stadium. And then two weeks later after the bye, he bottomed out in New England. So it, it doesn't, it's a week-to-week -week league, Dexter, and one week doesn't mean much the next week. Week-to-week -week league can't get crazy over a small sample size. Just got to take it game by game for sure. Okay, Brian, here we go. You know how we do every week. What are the keys to the Jets going out to Denver and knocking off the Broncos on Sunday afternoon? I think they need to run the ball, Dexter. This, this Broncos defense, the worst in the league against the run. They're the worst in the league overall, but they, they've particularly been bad against the run. And the Jets just haven't been able to like, get that running game going. As nice as it was to see their offense doing things last week for the Jets, they, they really didn't run the ball very well. So if they could get the running game going, Brees Hall is returning to where he hurt himself last year. I think, you know, he's going to be motivated. Uh, get get them going. They can, they can win to control the ball. And then defensively, you just you, they gotta get some turnovers and, and get the ball back to Zach and you know they got a couple last week, um, but I think you know don't give the Broncos any life. This is a team that that's one in three, just like the Jets, but they're coming off of a win. Uh, they're they're going to be playing at home, so I, I think the Jets just if they can if they can turn the ball over on defense and run the ball on offense, that would be a good formula for them to win. All right, there you go. That's the formula from Brian Costello. We'll see if the Jets can get a win and improve to two and three on the season in week five as they face the Broncos. Brian Costello, the great New York Post Jets beat writer, joining us as he does every week to preview the game. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dexter.